Plaintiff Donna Kane rented an apartment to the defendant, and he was like the gay son she never had. Donna claimed she and the defendant had a good time together, especially when he dressed in drag. However, she was forced to evict him, and she's suing for damages, rent, and harassment. Defendant Justin Lott says Donna is vindictive and loves to gossip. Justin claims Donna often spread rumors about their other neighbor being in an abusive relationship, and he's countersuing her for a breach of contract. Start with you. Well, um, I have rented the apartment to Justin in the fall of 2010, and I just I became an accidental landlord. I didn't mean to. I'm, I'm actually it's actually like a duplex, and I'm his neighbor. You didn't intend to be a landlord. Yeah, I didn't. What were you going to do with the other unit? Oh, my daughter was going to eventually live in okay. there. Okay. Um, my daughter daughter's devel developmentally disabled, okay. and in order to her to develop more independence. There's eventually. four okay. units. Yes, I mean? there's four units. There's four units. Yes, okay. and my son here, and the other one for my for my cousin. She was very ill and about to get evicted. All right, go ahead. Um, I rented to him. When? Um, he was supposed to move in October 1st of 2010. He asked to be let in a little early because he was having problems did with his roommate. Did you have a lease? Yes, he did. How much was the rent? Three fifty a month. Okay. All right. What was he like as a tenant? Um, he was like, I know this is kind of weird, but he was like the gay son. That I <laughs> that I always wanted. What does that mean? Well, I'm I'm really nerdy. My son is really nerdy. We just don't care much about how things are decorated mm -hmm. or just everything that's that's functional is fine. Uh -huh. White paint on the wall is fine. Mm -hmm. A light switch comes if it's just a light, that's fine. We you know we don't care. We just function over beauty. But mm -hmm. you know, nasty. Justin has just more nasty. Of a sense of, don't care. Huh? <laughs> just don't mind being nasty. Why do you call him the gay son? He is gay. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay, you and you've him. always wanted a gay son? I was just trying to understand this statement. <laughs> I'm trying to understand this statement. That's all. You wish your son was gay? Well, well turn him out. We, we do tease him. <laughs> I'm just trying to understand this. Go ahead. All right, so he's kind of a neat guy. Is that he's what neat, you're saying? Yeah. He, un he, he has this, the sense of decor that that I lack. All right. And we would go shopping together, buy things for the apartment. He was fixing things up for me. Um, he had, he uh, built a fire pit in the backyard. He would have barbecues back there, invite me and the kids, um, invite his friends. His friends would sometimes, they would come over, they'd all dress up and drag. And when he dressed up, he looked just like Fran Drescher. He was so cute, <laughs> just so cute as the buttons. Okay. <laughs> and you all had we fun? Had fun. We all had right. fun. It was like, they, you know, it was neighbors. It was mm -hmm. not a landlord tenant type of situation. It mm -hmm. was neighbors and friends. Okay. What went bad? Uh, yeah, it was so odd. It was over such a small thing. What? Um, you know, the lease went out. He continued on after his lease went out on a month to month tenancy, still three fifty a month. Um, on, I think it was Easter weekend, it was like May. You know, April 9th of 2012, um, his boyfriend's stepchildren were staying over because they were on spring break. In the morning, they had had Easter egg hunts. In the afternoon, they were out in the backyard, but there was no adult there. And my dogs were back out in the backyard. His dogs were back out there. And three out of the four kids, there were two brooms. The three kids were actually taking turns with the brooms, hitting the dogs with the brooms. Um, I called him at work mm -hmm. and I said, you know, the kids are back there. Can you have somebody go out there and watch them? And things just degraded. Defendant Justin Lotz rented an apartment from the plaintiff and he claims she is nothing but a vindictive gossip. Let me hear from you, sir. Give me some background. Well, first off, she's not as sweet as she seems. She's vindictive. She likes to gossip about people. How so? Well, first off, there was a neighbor that lived next door to me who she would call me and she would email me and tell me all the gossip was going on. She would hear a loud thump and she'd call me, is her boyfriend beating her up again? And all this, I mean, really this is none of my business. And it's you her listened. It, it, didn't have a choice to listen. Yes, you did. I could hang up on her, I guess. No, you could say, hey, uh, you know, I don't engage in that now. You know, that's not my thing. I, True. I keep to myself. But I was all her right. gay son as you never had. All right, well then you wanted to hear it. Don't act like you didn't want to hear it. <laughs> I had Who to be there for gossip? her. <laughs> Go ahead. But anyway, she was just, she would gossip to me about everything that went on. So really what I think is when it turned was whenever 
he moved into the mm -hmm. apartment after she she finally kicked out the girl that lived next door. He moved in there, so she had he was my roommate mm -hmm. in my apartment that I lived in. So she didn't have anybody to gossip about. So. so okay, then what? What happened? What turned? Well, what really, really got me was whenever we spent like over five hundred dollars doing a little, like a garden type thing out front, and her daughter, I come home from work one day, standing in the garden, huffing and puffing, and she's sitting in her car on the street, pointing and laughing as her daughter is ripping up everything that we did. All right, so how do we get to the lawsuit on rent and uh, damages? Well, for rent, he didn't pay the rent for the month of June. He mm -hmm. wasn't out until July June 7th. June of 12? June of 2012. Mm -hmm. um, he wasn't out until July 2nd at the eviction hearing. Um, mm -hmm. And he left so much damage in the apartment, there's no way that I could rent it. Okay, rent the it uh, rent he owes you for that month because you evicted him for non-payment? Yeah. Okay, damages, what did he damage? Well, even before I had evicted him, he um, had locked me out and I had had to hire a locksmith to so that I could get into my own. After he moved? No, before he moved. Okay. And he also uh, broke my patio table. What was the policy regarding you coming in? This was in her backyard. Sir? Sorry. Oh, he locked you out of the yard? Yes, but my door is inside the lot yard. Gotcha. So I couldn't get to mm -hmm. my door to get to my gotcha. house. Gotcha. All right, go ahead. There's a huge list. You um, have it? Oh, gosh. And when you spoke to him about these damages, what did he say? About the damages after he moved out? The ones you're suing for. He hasn't answered me. Okay. You never spoke Sir, to me about it. What do you want to tell me? She's given me a list of damages. Do you have a copy of what she's suing I you have, for, the damages? I if I can find it here. And this is obviously the first time you're hearing it? Well, this new list, I guess. Oh. I had another list. It was for... Okay, what do you say to the damages? Hand him this, please. Okay. Well, I say, I say it's crap. You obviously. didn't Before I even have cause to see it. damage to the property? The ceiling fan, mm -hmm. mine, I paid for it myself. The one, in, it was in the living room. It was broken when I moved in. You paid for it, so. I paid for it. I asked her if I could replace it. She said, I don't have the money to replace it. And so I bought it out of my right. own money. All right. And so when I left, I took it with me. Uh -huh. That's the, uh, that. Now trash, removal and cleaning. There was a lot of stuff in the basement that was left from there from her contractors. Mm -hmm. So that could possibly be what was there. Garden repair. Uh, I did the garden, your daughter ripped it up, mm -hmm. not me. So you can pay me $191. <laughs> Closet repair. She asked him and I to make, there was a two bedroom, well, it was a one bedroom, but the bedrooms went through together. Mm -hmm. She wanted it, you know, bl uh, blockaded off. So we did that. That cost me $100 out of my own pocket. So that's what she's talking about there. Now bathroom, $15. I don't understand that. What could possibly cost $15 after I remodeled the entire bathroom? Um, kitchen? No, the kitchen, that I don't know of either. I installed a washer. Okay, so a dishwasher. did you discuss these things with her? This is the first time she's I've seen anything on this list here. Defendant Justin Lotz rented an apartment from the plaintiff, and he claims she is nothing but a vindictive gossip. All right, so this is the first time you've heard of all these damages you just read off. These ones here, yeah, I got another All right, ma'am, and you say that's not true? Um, he got a list um, when I sent the list for the counting of the um, security deposit. Uh -huh. He got the general list then. All right, and you say you didn't. It, I did, and it was not for this Let's much. See Let's see this it. isn't it. This isn't it. I, me, you have it? I Not here. All no. right. Good Sorry. enough. And you say the list he received is the same list that you just provided me. Generally, yes. Generally. <laughs> <laughs> Generally. I need the specific list that you sent to him. Do you have that? I might have it out in my purse. I'm you sorry. have it in your purse. I'll adjourn the case and we'll allow you to get your purse. All right. I'll go get your purse. You stay okay. here. Okay. Came this. Got that list in here? Yeah. Don't pull out that weed. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I have it in my manila envelope out there. I have the same list out there. Hopefully it's the same. It's in the in the box out there. <laughs> Stay seated. This court is back in session.
All right, ma'am. So you say you have a list you want to present to me that you presented to him. Let me see that list indicating the specific things that he uh, damaged that you were subtracting from his security deposit. I haven't found it in my file yet, but I have it here. But I think he's found it. You do have it. He had I, it. I found Let me it. You do it. have yeah, it. Yeah, it's my signature on it. I thought you said you didn't. Well, it was out there, so I didn't. Oh, you went out. You and it. I also I have on it. You went out for both and found his. Yes. But not her. <laughs> Have He's a, a good list. witness. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. I also have on the list um, on that list at the time. I hadn't didn't have all the repairs yet. My uh, carpenter hadn't been in yet. Um, since then, my carpenter has been in, and here is a list of the number of hours that he had put in. I mm -hmm. estimated too. I was way underestimating. And what did the carpenter repair again? Um, he removed the unauthorized construction. He had he had to totally repair a door frame. It was just damaged beyond repair. All of the doors had holes in them. Some of them had to be replaced. There okay. was another door that was missing. I'm gonna have to adjourn and look closely at this list, along with all the things that you're telling me now. I'll be back. All right, in this case, I've taken my time and reviewed all of the evidence that's been presented to me. And I've come to the conclusion that both of you are telling the truth. So I'm going to grant your judgment $2,914 and yours is $850. That leaves the plaintiff with how much? $2,064. That's it. Have a good day. That's it, ma'am. That's all I'm going to do.